Welcome back. We are doing all signs. There's two prices. Keep in mind, if it is not your story, knowledge, you move on. Question of the day for fun. What do you think your spirit animal is? Or what would you say you feel like it is? All right. Aries, Leo, Sag. Elemental quickies. Source. All right. One came out sideways. Okay. One more. One more. One more. All right. This person is extremely attracted to you. This is like big change, okay? Big change. But they feel like you're kind of being mysterious towards them. So I do feel like they're reaching out, trying to get, you know, trying to get your attention. How do you see this person? Ooh. Well done. Mature. But you're being a little reserved. You know, the Queen of Pentacles doesn't just pour it out like the Queen of Wands does. You're making sure that they're honest. So you are a little bit guarded towards this person. But this also can be that you're just too distracted by other things right now and a lot going on. Because it's looking like, yeah, you know, I got a lot of things to work. You're workity, workity, work. How do you, how do you see this person... Oh, but they're decent. Okay, I mean, you see this person is decent, but it does seem like you're holding back. This also can be that it took this person long enough, but you can be having high expectations and making sure that this person is actually going to learn about you. Wanting something traditional, wanting to get to know this person better, but they feel like you're kind of being mysterious, so they're getting a little bit like, ugh, but they're taking the chance anyway. This seems like a big change to them. Now, if it's somebody from the past, they want to try to get over a hurdle with you. And you might be saying, you know, <laughs> took you long enough. This could have been an ongoing battle between the two of you. You know, and this is still not completely trusting. So you're not exactly open. You're thinking about it. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Source. Okay. We got the little spy. And the Ten of Coins. Alright, why the Page of Swords? Ooh, this person has the idea that the two of you should uh, try dating. They're a little bit intimidated. They might be a little bit insecure. Pages are small, so watching you, trying to get to know you. can be somebody through work or you can meet them in a gathering. can be the partying, out gathering, socializing, etc. See what you think of them. They got the idea that you would make a good couple. Okay. Big change. You're interested. It's like not emotionally just dumping it out there, but you're having the courage. I mean, it does look like it happens really fast, but you're having the courage to check this out. This is possibly an emotional tie. This feels pretty new. It really does. This could be this person wanting to have some long-term intentions. Let's get one for intention. Ew. A new beginning. Honest. A breakthrough. Telling you how they feel. This is somebody that acknowledges, tells you a lot of communication. They might be a little bit intimidated, but I feel like they're just trying to guard their heart a little bit. Check you out. Wanting to make sure that you're the long-term type person or that you're not another another connection, but they this is really nice Sure feels new holding back a little bit, but willing to give it a go. I mean this is Energetic having fun with this person and then honest plans honest future a breakthrough So coming at you with clarity, you know telling you exactly what they want what they're looking to, for nice Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Source. All right. Romance. Now, this cur this person and you could have had a falling out. Let's get one more for the Six of Swords. One more. Yeah. They thought that it was the right thing to do. They could have felt like the two of you needed a break. But now they want to come at you better, more honesty. They could be taking repercussions here. This person taking accountability, possibly dealing with some consequences, but initially, you know, having moved on. One more. 
Intention. Okay. They want you back. They feel like there would be contentment. Why did they leave in the first place? Now, that can be, let's put the baggage behind us. I'm coming in with an apology. I'm going to make this right. There was doubt here. Was this getting off the ground? Were the, were the two of you on the right page? This person might feel like they gave up too soon. How do you see this person? How do you see this person? Ooh. Okay, anticipation, waiting it out. A couple more. Yeah, okay. Now, this looks like moving things forward. This does look like an apology, and this person like looks like they are kind of regretting that they bailed a little bit too easy, so they know that there's got to be communication based on truth. Willing to take the consequences. They learned their lesson by leaving. Bottom of the deck, you have the two of rods. So... The grass wasn't greener on the other side. I think that you're going to make sure to, you know, let this person know that one. But it's like, you got to decide. Are you going to let this person come in? It's a little bit of restless energy, but anticipating getting back together potentially. From now on, you know, it's like you want more stability between the two of you. Cut of the deck, it does look like a reconciliation though. So evaluating the connection, evaluating this person, self-assessments as well. Is this the best thing for myself? All right. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Source. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. All right, this person's choosing to just stay on their own right now. They feel like the two of you are just at a major stalemate. They don't want to really do anything. They're sitting on the fence here. Why the Ace of Coins? It could be just starting over. Mm. What's the blockage? Procrastination. Going too slow. This person was lazy in this connection lack of common sense and they just gave up this could have been something that was ongoing they could have treated you like an option but the communication was bad trust issues losing feeling but they're just choosing to be single and not look at this i feel like they're starting over i mean the blockage here we're reversing the knight of pentacles no patience yeah, and this person could, I mean, they're, they might see you as a little bit gullible, but this person is majorly impatient. They don't have patience for shit. They could have been flirting with somebody else, but they act up. Not wanting to be reliable, not wanting to be responsible. Kind of a slacker, not loyal. What do you see them? Juggling you and an argument. So you're defeated. You're like, I'm walking away from this. This doesn't work for me. This person's self-sabotaged. I sacrificed what I could to try to make this work. It's a bummer. But why do we have King Cups? I mean, there are emotions here, but you're trying to use your head as well. Okay. I don't know, this is looking like you're trying to work on yourself here. There, there is a feeling of wanting to try to make this work, but at the same time, you feel like it's not going to. So this is just looking like you're tossing, tossing in your chips and saying this is enough. Enough of this crap. This person really distancing themselves emotionally, they're doing it on purpose. So if you're still in communication with this person and you're trying to get them to open up more and put more work into this, they're not doing it. Mm -mm. This is you, you know, having a hard time. You're sad, yeah, but this is like major defeat. I don't want this to, if this can be something that was very ongoing, back and forth, back and forth. Like this person can't make up their damn mind. Like they come in, they come out. They come in, they come out. You're not a 7-Eleven, okay? But the, the trust issues, the not being able to connect correctly, this is not soulmate energy, no, it's just the opposite. It's two people that get, you know, you putting in too much damn work. They could have taken that for granted, but they're just, they're, mm -mm. they're not, they're, 
they could be torn between two relationships too, but they're choosing to be single right now. So we have Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag. A lot of fire in there. Yeah, and I feel like it's like I really dedicated myself and not so much. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra. Leo. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces. All signs are in here. All right. We're keeping the video short today. So we are pulling out what do you need to hear? Aries, what's your most on your mind? All right, let's see what you got. You will be guided with this. Drop it like it's hot. And then for protection, no. Bottom of the deck you have, sure, why not? All right, just for fun, we're pulling out two from the pessimist oracle. You have... Your guardian angel is so sick of your shit. Just for fun now, keep in mind. See the middle finger here? The universe is giving you signs. Pay attention. All right, Aries, that's what we have for you. And I'm going to go. All right, Taurus, question of the day for fun is what's your spirit animal? Or what do you feel it is? All right, elemental cookies. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, source. Ooh, king of swords. Okay. Why do we have the lovers here? This person might want to fight for this connection. They're not, I mean, they feel like you're challenging them. Why the king of swords? All right, they're intimidated. They're watching you from afar. They feel like the two of you should be together. What's the blockage? What's the blockage? You might not be interested. One more, because we're basically reversing that page of pentacles. It's like, eh. That or they don't pay enough attention. Like they got ADD, emotional ADD. I just don't think you're interested. Not feeling like this is going anywhere. <sighs> really not interested. Okay, it's like this person could have been a little bit too arrogant for you or you just felt like it wasn't going anywhere real fast it's like they could have made you feel like they were kind of material not giving enough to a long-term connection but you are not interested this is person's action okay they're still keeping hope and faith they still are going to keep trying but if they if they're so damn cold this can be somebody that has rusting bitch face I don't think this is going to stop them. So you kind of have somebody annoying here. They're watching you. They still, well, you are the love of my life. And you're going, I really am not that interested. But they're still going to try. They want a new beginning with you. They, they're they like, I, I, I'm going to put a lot of work into it, I promise. And you're going, I, I'm not interested. So this seems like somebody that's coming at you that you're going, um, friend zone, not interested. This isn't going anywhere. It seems like you're trying to be honest with them. Not interested. What's the likely outcome? Are you going to give this person a chance? You're nosy. No? Boo. Really leave me alone. I'm staying in. Oh, got to wash my hair. No. Uh -uh. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Source. Okay. This person wants to try to get things moving again. This can be, I know it's your choice, but I would, I anticipate that if we tried to compromise, things would go better. How do you see them? All right, we're taking a break right now. There is the feeling though, you could be trying to get, teach them a lesson, just saying, because there is the feeling of reconciling, trying to get on the same page, and contentment here. One more for the hermit. Yeah, something you found out pissed you off, something that you, you got the truth, possibly had tried to deceive you about something, but you still have feelings for this person. They want to compromise. Whether or not it could have been also holding back feelings. 
okay, and trying to get the clarity here. You're, I basically feel like you're trying to teach them a lesson, doing what's best for yourself. But they, they know the ball's in your court right now, and they're anticipating trying to be more compromising. What kind of outcome? Outcome. What's the likely outcome? Well, that's coming back around. So you two both have to try to put the baggage behind you, okay? Because this is looking like at one point in time, you just went enough of this. I'm not dealing with it anymore. But it does look like coming back around. So again, with the feeling of I'm going to continue trying. All right. It might not go very far, though. We have the Seven of Swords here. I feel like you're holding back. I really do. One more for outcome. I'm nosy. Okay, that's reconciliation, but it also can be telling this person that, you know, I yes, I've really thought about this, and I don't know, but this does look like a reconciliation and things going better. But it is a big change, so is this person willing to do that compromising? Stop with the games. It does have a fairly decent look on the outcome. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Source. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. This person thinks you have high expectations, but they are wanting and an, they want a chance. Give me a chance. I will be fair. I will be balanced. I feel like you have a lot to offer. They find you charming, intelligent. Ooh, they're coming at you. My intention is to sweep you off your feet and make you mine. The Queen of Pentacles is the married type of person, loyal, dedicated, devoted. This can be, I mean, this can be a, you are marriage material, but they're coming at you. Honest, clarity. How do you see them? All right. You're thinking about it. It's like, hmm. One more. It's like, I'm curious. You are, okay, very drawn to them. You see them as fun and outgoing. This does look like it could go somewhere. You get the Ten of Cups, so happiness, a, a comfortable feeling. But this can be somebody that needs to be more flexible. It can be you me, being more flexible, but it's like, I, you know, anticipation again. I feel like this could move forward. I'd be having fun with this person. That looks nice. Feels very new. So you are going to give them the chance. It's like feeling that you are definitely interested. They are interested. They see... They're not, there's no passion up here. I mean, we, we have the come and sweep you off your feet. Very persistent. Wanting an opportunity with you. Wanting a chance. Doing what's right. This is somebody that feels like you could be the right person from them. But you're like, ha to trot. I want success. This is looking like a, a partnership. But it does start with being flexible. Finding the balance. Maybe possibly needing to find time. I mean, this can be seeing that you're an extremely busy person as well, but this looks really nice. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Source. Oh, there's that night, the Passion Pony. We coming or going? Coming. All right. One more. Oh, respect. This person is very sexual, yes, but they're determined to have, again, determined, very passionate, very persistent, flirty messages, huge attraction. This can be an actual physical move that this person is making. You can meet them out and about, but they're somebody that looks at you like you got it all going on, that you're very, I mean, they're lusting the shit out of you. They want to see if this could develop into growing emotions. How do you see them? All right. Two more. Oh, I don't know, guys. It's looking like you're still waiting for somebody from the past. So I feel like you're trying to maintain your independence. A couple more. Okay. This also can be somebody that's coming in, but I don't see any apology in here. Can we get back together? I will respect you more. I want to come back around and offer something more. But you see that this person may have wanted to be single. You're trying to maintain your independence. This person wants to try to take the deficit out and have a change here. 
Be more faithful. Learned their lesson. What's the black edge? All right. One more. Because we're reversing this. One more for the Ace of Wands. Full start. Not getting off the ground. This person just gave up before. They were either lying or... Oh, boy. It's looking like lying. Holding back their emotions. Not... It's like, uh-uh, not respecting. They could have stepped out of the connection, leaving you going, I'm not dealing with this. But we're basically reversing these cards here for blockage. I give up. Too easily. They could have stepped out and screwed around with somebody else. But basically, it's like not being 100% honest. There was jealousy involved here. They don't want to have, it's almost like that, I don't want to be the emperor. I don't want to have all the responsibility. I'm just looking for a little bit of fun. Oh, didn't go so well. And now it's looking like they want to try to come back around and you're going, <laughs> really? In or out? In or out? What kind of outcome? What kind of outcome? Oh, I don't know. One more. I think you're walking away from this. I really do. I think you're just done. It's like you, you know, your little apology is really not going to cut it. You're done. It's like I'm walking away from this. It does look like this had been a long-term or you were hoping it would have been a long-term connection. You wanted the stability, but you're walking away. Change of heart for you, trying to emotionally find something better, but you're just, you're, you're done with it. It's like you're, you got a reality check here from this person and you're saying this isn't even worth it. Not worth it. Somebody that gives up that easily? No. So maintaining your independence from the passion pony. They want to try to work things out, but they... Mm -mm. So we have Libra, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Heavy, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Pisces. A lot of up and down in here. And then you got somebody you're just not interested. Cancer, Aquarius, and Gemini. What do we have for absolutely singles with no Klingon source? Absolutely singles. All right. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Eventually it's coming. I feel like you're going, waiting, 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 trying to use your intuition, but you need to get the hell out of the house to actually find somebody. But this looks like you will find somebody, but you got to get out of the house. It seems like you're waiting, 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 hesitating. Get your ass out there. Be more confident. Ooh, less than passion. Yep, yep. But not being treated like an option either. There is new love, but it's after some self-love. It does seem like you got your hang-ups, but this does look like it goes better. You got shiny coins and shiny cups here. Self-love and new beginnings. You might be trying to drop something that's toxic, but this is lusty, lusty. Temptation can be a Capricorn, but that looks much better. We like that much better. Okay, let's get an answer for the question most on our mind. Yes, we're keeping them a little shorter yet just because we're having issues yet with the damn videos. Sources question. Be open. Won't happen. Don't you dare. And then you have some things got to give. Oh, I guess you've been told. All right. Then we're getting out two for fun only from the pessimist oracle. Figure it out. That's the X. You should check the internet about your symptoms. Oh, God. Okay. Just for fun. Tauruses. On we go. Gemini's question of the day for fun is, what's your spirit animal, or who do you, who, what animal do you think? What do you think is your spirit animal, whether you've ever been told or not? Okay, embellished elemental quickies, Aries, Leo, Sag, if you are dealing with a fire sign, okay. This person is feeling kind of backed into a corner. Standing up for what they believe in, but they're intimidated. Why the intimidation? Because they feel stuck. This is somebody that might... It's the feeling of being trapped but not being able to move, but they can move. 
Why the Eight of Swords? Oh. They want you back. And this also, I mean, this is somebody fighting for this. They don't feel like whatever's happened between the two of you is done. Your energy, temperance. Well, um, has to go real slow. This can be forgiveness and trying again. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, this does look like starting over. What was the blockage? What was the blockage? All right, somebody walking away. Now they want to come back. This could have been fear of their emotions, just saying. So this person could have had the feeling of, if I don't do this first, you will. They could have felt rejected and then got cold and shitty. But this seems like they were completely taking things wrong. Very defensive energy. I want you back. I want to be in a more committed relationship. And you're saying there's got to be more feelings and more balance. But that's a new beginning. Yeah, this person needs to fucking open up, but they do want to come back. They got to be more giving. They have to open up. This does look like they're trying to, you know, improve the situation, but they want to come back. They had left. They gave up too, you know, too early in the connection. You might not have. I mean, that could have been a long term or not, but there needs to be more patience more moderation. This person needs to chill the hell out instead of just bailing whenever they feel possibly rejected because that King of Pentacles gets very chippy on the shoulder-ish easily. And then they can toss their arms up in the air and say, fuck it. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. The lovers. Why the lovers? Ew. This person wants you to take them seriously. They're coming at you very seriously. Truthful. Clarity. Feeling like this would be a good connection. Wanting to get things off the ground. Something stable. One more. Yeah, they're willing to put in the hard work. So, coming at you with a big, 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 hello. Progress. This person wants things to move forward. They want to be taken seriously. Heavy air sign. But it's like, let's get the show on the road here. This is somebody that goes the, you know, the full, they, they go the full distance. They put the work into it. How do you see them? How do you see them? All right. Very structured. You see them wanting to anchor this down, but you're not sure. You're still going, ugh. Could be wishful thinking. You're not sure that you know this person well enough. It's like, stop being a little bit on the stubborn side. I do feel like this person's causing you a little bit of anxiety. It's like, come on. One more for the moon. Okay, you're afraid that they're a player. So you're going to start small. It's like, get to know me better. Yes, we can flirt. This is exciting and all fun. The communi you know, communication is great. But you feel like they're kind of being like very serious. And it's like, you need to chill out a little bit. I need to get to know you better, you know, just in case. Just because they're not very, real, real vocal doesn't mean that they wouldn't treat you like an option in your head. And they're like, no, I am, I'm telling you. I'm honest and for true. I'm telling you what my intentions are. They might feel like it's a hard time to break through your, I mean, with that eight of wands, they're really trying to break down your walls. So this does look like this person feels like you could be the one. They want emotions. They want a partnership. That's desire. But they're, they're coming at you extremely, boom, very honest. All right. Very strong, very, oof. Take me seriously. And it can seem to you a little bit demanding. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Nine of rugs. Emotionally kind of fatigued. But they want to fight for this. It's like, I want a big change. I will respect you. I still feel... A glimmer of hope here. I don't want to fail. What's the blockage? 
All right. Possibly not changing. This person might just be so regimented and set in their ways that this, you know, kind of went off course. Like it was going no more fast. This person could have been a little bit arrogant or kind of a coward. One more for blockage. That's kind of what ruined this. They still want an opportunity with you. They they are coming in to fight for this. This person's got a chip on their shoulder. They're like, I still feel like this can work. My emotions for you are growing. And, and you know, this is basically saying possibly somebody that was unhappy, whether it be you or them, not feeling like it's going well and not changing. How do you see this person? How do you see this person? Boom. Well, are they going to make that big change? Because this feels very unexpected. You have feelings for them. And this could have been a long time in between here. I don't know if you're interested anymore. I don't know if you're interested. You might feel like they missed their window. One more for the Four of Cups. I mean, it's, it's making you... Oh, I don't think you trust them. Why the Seven? You are holding back. They have to prove this. They have to prove their worth. Otherwise, you're just going to carry on. So I, I feel like there's been a time gap here. And this is like, whoa, did not expect this. And it's like, you held back. Lies, bullshit, whatever it was. I don't know that I'm that interested in this shit anymore. You're focused on the negative. You are very focused on the negative. So this person's really going to have to prove it. But they could have bailed on you, went a completely different direction, and it happened just out of the blue, and they're trying to over-explain over themselves. They still have emotions for you. They still consider you to be home. All right. What's the likely outcome? Because I don't feel like you're, I mean, you're really on the fence. That's really going to have to, you're really going to have to think about it. You have to evaluate, you have to really make a decision, but it is a big decision. I don't feel like you're just doing anything real quick. They're going to have to prove it. Pentacles take time. So this is not going to be a snap decision for you. You have to think about it. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles. They see you as mature and grounded. Now, it can be an ex or somebody that wants children. Also, it can be that there are children involved already. What do they want? What does this person want? Okay, they want something slow, reliable. They're very persistent, responsible. Hmm. So they want to move into a connection that is... Very routine, know what they can expect. You're willing to give this, a, there can be kids involved here. And it can be the, just, this, there's that feeling of home again, comfortable. So that's messaging, positive news though. It's feeling like a little bit of a crushity crush. But you're taking it slow. You want to take it slow too. You are interested in this person. This would be having fun with them. They make you feel good about yourself. But you want to take it slow as well. So it's like, I need to get to know you better. Bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Pentacles. It's like, this takes time. Both of you are kind of moving at the same pace. Now, it also can be somebody that is older than you, but very street smart, very wise. But it's something that you're really kind of going within and going, do I invest in this or not? Let's just take it slow. There's a, this is like no pressure here at all. Very nice. So we have Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, heavy on the Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, and Libra. Better than yesterday, Gemini, Aries. And this person really can be very set in their ways. It's like they're very logical. All right. And then we have Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, 
A lot of earth in there. Things that take time. Earth is slow. All right, let's get an answer for the question. What's on your mind? And yes, we're going shorter again because of the length of the video issues. Gemini's, what do they need to hear? Question most on their mind. Outlook is sad. Isn't a good time. Well, shit. And then you have a yes. Okay, so don't be sad. It might not be the best timing. There can be something that is definitely taking time to come to fruition. But basically, it is coming. Okay, it is optimistic. And then just for fun, from the pessimist oracle. Just for fun now. Okay, God is never going to give you up, never going to let you down, never going to run around. Yeah, so you just got uh, Rick rolled. You are more powerful than you think, and so is your odor. That could be somebody else, though. Somebody might stink. They stink. It's not you, Jemmies. All right, on we go. Crebe Pettis. Okay, question of the day for fun. What's your spirit animal? What do you feel is your spirit animal? All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Elemental Quickies. We have the Magician. Ooh, this person wants you to be open towards love. They want an opportunity with you. Holy man, just imagine. So they're initiating contact with you. They feel like you are a good person and that this could grow. Ooh. All right, what do you think? Ooh. Expansion. You feel like they're honest and for true. This could go somewhere. And they make you feel good about yourself. This also can be somebody that's a lot of fun to be with. One more. One more. Okay. But, I mean, there's a lot of hope and faith here. But wanting to take things slow. Show me reliability. Show me patience. You want to take a more conservative approach to this? It's like, the, I mean, this is a very sexual card. They might be pushing a little bit, <laughs> pushing a little bit, but they want an opportunity with you. They want you to be open towards this, and you might be making them wait for the nook, just saying. But this is an opportunity, and it's looking like if they take it slow, so you're daydreaming about this person and where this could go, but you want things to get off on the right foot. Very nice. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Source. Okay. All right. Ooh, this person is determined to come back. Determined. They have made up their mind. There could have been confusion between the two of you, but they want to come back, break the ice, have a discussion, and reconcile. How do you see this person? Well, that's saying that you would give them the opportunity. There has to be more moderation. That's, that's a reconciliation, but compromising. So it does seem like you want this. It's like accepting this apology, accepting this person back. Outcome. Okay. This is moving forward. This does look like being more mature. So growing emotions, trying to work it out. This looks decent. If they had treated you like an option, they are really regretting it. This is somebody that wants to come through with a lot of logic, honesty, clear the air with you. Okay. But it does look like moving in the right direction. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Memories it might be healing. All right, what if? What if I came back? What if? New reversed. Nope. So somebody from the past, somebody that you are familiar with or they feel comfortable with you is like, what if? Now what? So planning... Oh, they're still, you know, what the f I'm Waiting. What's the black edge? Okay. They need to tell the truth about how they feel because this looks like confessing emotions and, you know, a lot of 
using their head and their heart and f f they still have feelings for you. But they can't be stoic and they can't sit there with their finger up their ass. This person might have tried denying how they felt about you. Could have been disloyal. Let's see. Let's see. What's the blockage? Because, boy, they're, they're doing a lot of thinking, but I'm not a lot of doing. What's the blockage? Okay, so we're going this way. Blockage. Walking away, feeling defeated, getting all pissy. This person's kind of a candy ass, a little bit of a coward. They might feel like... I mean, they're not taking any risks right now. They feel like the communication was just off. I mean, the lovers reverse. Bad communication. They might feel like you've lost your feeling towards them. They could have treated you like a option. Could have been. One more for the lovers. This just looks like two people that weren't fucking happy. And they, you know, I feel like you are just giving this person the cold shoulder. This person could have been greedy, emotionally, just all about themselves. Like, it's all about me. They got their share of imperfections. They know it. They are really thinking about it, but they got to get the balls up to do it first. How do you see this person? They might have been kind of greedy with their emotions. Ooh. Yeah, you think they're full of shit. Okay, so you might be tempted by talking to this person, but you don't trust them. They make you feel like you don't, like you're not good enough. But you're not completely over this. One more movement forward. No, this is. You're not sure that this is going to be somebody that's ever happy to begin with. Okay, it's like there'd have to be a hell of a lot of compromise. They could have treated you like an option. You could feel like this person stepped out of the connection and still having a hard time moving on from it. But it's like, might be working on trying to become more optimistic and get over this person. One more. Uh, if you're wondering if this person's not, if, if they're ever going to change, the answer is no. This is the same old, same old. Even if you're, aren't, you're not over this person... Major stagnancy. They're holding back. They might not be offering what you want. They're thinking a lot about you. They're thinking, what if? But they're just sitting there taking their sweet ass time. They could have been busted. I still care about you. Well, then why are you waiting? Why are you waiting? Pride, possibly. But talk about some arguments going on between the two of you. And they're stubborn? Ugh, major stubborn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The page of cups wants to start dating. So possibly a secret crush can be an Aries, but this person's like, let's spend some time together. I'm wondering if you're interested. Somebody that's sweet, generous, oh, and wants to screw your brains out. But they want a connection that grows. They're willing to show you the work. So dedicated, devoted, wanting a new chapter. He's got one little coin here, and he's really putting a lot of effort into it. How do you see this person? Oh, you both have an ace. New feelings, a new friendship, pleasure. Ooh, could meet this person at a party or gathering. But this does look like, yes, determined, nice, nice. So it can be a cancer since we had cancer at the bottom. This can be a soulmate. But you're giving them the opportunity. This is new love. And it does look like a lot of screwing, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And crushity, crushity. So positive messaging. We have Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Nice energy. A lot of fire in here. Very much digging you. All right. Scorpio, Leo, pessimistic. Not sure what the hell to do about this person. But I'm feeling like loneliness with this shit here. Capricorn, Gemini. Pisces, Pisces, Aries. And yes, we're keeping them a little shorter, still having issues with the videos. Sagittarius. You got a little bit of everything in here. Aquarius. Libra. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All signs are in there. Let's get an answer for the question most on your mind. 
Cancers. And then we'll get one from the Pessimist Oracle just for fun. Question most on their mind. Okay. You're not ready for the real deal, really. But you deserve it. So something good coming, but you need to be ready. So if you're still trying to work on healing, get on it. All right. Two from for fun. Don't bother. Just for fun. Being spiritual doesn't mean you shouldn't wear deodorant. <gasps> Somebody stinks. Uh-oh. On we go. Leo's question of the day for fun is, what's your spirit animal? Or what do you feel is your spirit animal? Elemental quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Ooh. This person has ideas for you. Now, can they break the ice? Because they sure want to. I'm interested in you. Positive messaging. Oh, do we have two here? Two reversed, yes. No, it's not. Okay. So you got one person here that might feel like you're kind of friend zone, you know, kind of friend zoning them. They're interested in love. But are they, you know, are they going to open up here? Because they're really thinking about it. How do you see this person? Well, you're guarded. Looks like you got other shit on your mind. I mean, you're kind of like conflict, walking away. I'm all up in my head. This person could be taking the friend zone approach to you because they they aren't sure that you're ready. But boy, do they want to break the ice. What's this person's action? I do feel like it's going to take some time, but this is almost like you're looking for the person from the past to come back. Waiting, waiting, waiting. So you're going to put this person... You got a secret crush here, it looks like, and they just feel like you are just all up in your head. Ongoing battle. Still struggling, somebody walking away from you, and it does look like you are preoccupied with other things for somebody that's interested in you, but... Might not be putting the moves on you because they don't think you uh, really are ready. What's the outcome? Okay, that can that can be the person from the past still coming back. One more. Ooh, I don't know. This is looking like you might give this person. You know, this can go either direction. Is this the person from the past reversed? Yes. No, it is not. So, possibly in time, because the hair font is an earth sign, time, takes time. Could have met this person at a party or a gathering, but they wanted a new connection with you. And it does look like in time, after you get to know them, that you'd relent and give them a chance. But right now, you're holding back. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Heavy Gemini. Okay, major fucking red flag here with this person. Trickery, bullshit, manipulation, another holding back. Could have treated you like an option. Like, are they still with somebody else? It's looking like they have hope for what? What do they have hope for? I have hope. I have faith in what? How do you see this person? more okay do you want to reconcile with this person be careful just be careful because it looks like they're holding back a little bit if they're not taking any chances right now they still have hope that this can get better actual blockage I feel like they're a sneaky little fucker yeah sorry um, letting you down emotional manipulation is this two? Yes, it is. So they could have gone back to a baby mama, whatever the case may be. But it's like, who's going to win their heart? Because this could have been an ex that they had, you know, reversed. This person emotionally manipulating you, breaking your fucking heart to go back to somebody else. Mm mm negligence and you still want them back 
just be careful. I mean, it does look like they do intend to do so, but you got to be careful because this person can be, you know, this can be somebody that's inept about themselves and just needed a, what, a boost from the past? Ah, I don't like it. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Knight of Pentacles. All right, this is going nowhere real fast. They are dragging their feet. Why are they dragging their feet? They're just, they're taking this really hard, this ending. They're going, they're going nowhere fast. What's, what is the, uh, blockage? Manipulation again. Doing things they shouldn't have fucking done. They feel like you are just not talking to them. Don't want to have anything to do with them. There's a major standoff here. One more for blockage. Okay. They don't think that you want to have any fucking thing to do with them. So they're taking this really hard. How do you see them? You're ignoring them. You could be trying to teach them a lesson, but there's the feeling of not completely wanting to be... It's like you're trapped. Possibly not wanting to be completely cut out of this person's life, but you're kind of bargaining here. You're kind of holding on a little bit to see if I, you know, if I hold back, is this person going to teach, you know, are they going to learn a lesson? So you're waiting for them to reach out, but there's major stagnation. If they think that you're ignoring them, I mean, they really feel like this is done. They're dragging their feet. They don't want to walk away, but they don't feel like they have any other choice. So that's major, not going nowhere right now, but you still have feelings for this person. So you're you're trying to bargain and, and play the roll of the dice. Might not work out. What action does this go forward? Oh, but it might. Curiosity. I feel like this is you, though. Wanting to restart. So you're still stuck on this person. But this can be a connection that's been ongoing, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Love, hate, love, hate, love, hate. They could have juggled you. They need to be more flexible. Kind of holding, holding back right now, though. So you're curious. It does look like trying to start over again. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn... All right. This person wants a big change. They're coming in really quickly to try to break down your walls. They want to communicate. They feel like this is the right thing to do. But you might make them wait for it. You know, it's like, hmm. Why the Seven of Pentacles? It's like, I want hard work to pay off. Are you interested? They don't think you're interested. What's the blockage here? You're really, really not interested. This person could be pushy. But when we have the Queen of Wands reversed, you're kind of like, nah. Kind of an attention haul. You've made up your mind. You don't want it. You're walking away from this. You're just, you're either done with this person or you aren't interested. So this person could have a chip on their shoulder trying to open up communication and you're giving them reason to doubt that it's going to, you know, go anywhere. Oof, mixed energy. What kind of outcome do we have? Hold them back. So you're keeping your opinion to yourself. You don't want to do anything. No. You don't want to do a damn thing. Why the Eight of Swords? nosy you're just moving on you're like no 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 trying to heal trying to heal so not interested not at all walking away you feel like this person's kind of pushy 
So if that was somebody from the past trying to come back to resolve things, not happening. All right, let's get an answer for the question most on your mind, Leos. Source. Question most on their mind. Okay. Stop asking. Outcome is amazing. And then you have don't stress it. All right, we are pulling out the pessimist oracle just for fun. For something fun. Your fears are manifesting into reality. Ooh, do be careful because that can happen. Go with the flow like a dead fish. All right, maybe you're dealing with a Pisces. On we go. Virgos, question of the day for fun is, what's your spirit animal? What do you feel is your spirit animal? All right, moment to quickies embellished. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, source. Okay. King of, ooh. I'm coming to get you. So this person is uh, wanting to take this a little bit further here. Look at this. Let's get together. This is like a big deal for them. They want you to start things up with them. They want to get to know you. Very passionate. They see you as fun too. Wanting to take swift action. How do you see them? Can meet them at a party. You don't want any conflict. This can be that you don't want any uh, confrontation or that you don't want anybody that um, has other options. But it seems like this person is showing you some respect. So it's making you feel like this could go somewhere. Yeah, you're digging it. You are controlling the situation, making sure that they're honest and for true. But this is looking like freaking beautiful. Giving this person an opportunity, having everything that you need, somebody learning about you. It's looking like they're coming your direction, too, because the Empress doesn't have to go anywhere. So this is like, I meet you out, you just uh, catch my eye. They're like, my purpose is to have dating with you and see where things can go. But they want to pay attention. This is somebody that has the idea that the two of you would make a good couple. Could be meeting them at a party or a gathering. Okay. Looks nice. Look at that, too. Bottom of the deck. I mean, a lot of confidence in this person. You are the conquest. Dating. New. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Here I come. Wanting to face my emotions with you. Okay, this person could have held back before. Could have been dishonest. They could have lied. One more for the seven. No, this feels like they lied about how they felt and wanting to come back. They could have tried to hold back their emotions towards you and realize that they actually care. One more for the Eight of Cups. It seems like they're ready to face their, yeah, face their fears. So you might not see this coming. How do you see this person? You got your doubts. But you want to see if they're willing to compromise and be, you know, it's like, I want long term. I want family. I want somebody that I can rely on. You'll have to think about it. It's like, yes, I have feelings for you, but you have to, you know, show me that you're going to be more responsible, more reliable and meet my expectations. But this person caught feelings for you. I feel like they were holding back. They're facing their fears. Good boy or girl. Oof. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. There is no talking going on with this person. They feel a bit intimidated. They're watching you from afar. They feel like you're ignoring them and just kind of avoiding them. What's the blockage? They feel like you're not interested anymore. And... Basically waiting, waiting, waiting. Now, they could be waiting too damn long. They feel like you're putting them in this wait. What do they want? They want to try to resume contact and try to make this. Yeah. But they know that, the, the, okay, it's your choice. 
they know that it's your choice, so they're not sure that you're interested anymore. Block edge. All right. Could be a little jealousy here. This person's kind of a candy ass. They don't have the confidence. And they don't want to be single. This also could be somebody that you felt was a little bit too independent and wanted to be single because you got two cards of independence, contentment, having everything that you need. But when it's reversed, it's somebody that, you know, could be financially dependent, lying about being single. What kind of outcome do we have here? What kind of potential outcome? This does say that there is desire or lust in making an opportunity out of this, though. This is coming at you, taking consequences for their actions, trying to have a resolution and be more honest with you. But they feel like you're teaching them a little lesson and ignoring the shit out of them. They're agitated. They don't want to wait. But they're watching you, restless as hell, and sick of waiting, 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 waiting. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Source. Okay, this person it could be very comfy cozy with you. You might already know them. Can be somebody from the past. Let's get a little more. One more for the six. Nope. It's somebody that's frustrated, anxious, not sure what the hell to do, but they are wanting to reach out, curious. They could have walked away from this and just put their hands up in the air, tossed in the, you know, flag and said, screw this. And now they're like, but, 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 but. I think they're going to be met with silence. What's the blockage? They left in the first place, possibly ghosted you, abandoned you. They gave up. They didn't want the responsibility. This is somebody that had no ambition. Lazy, sloth. Didn't want the responsibility of a family. Didn't want the responsibility of something long term. Didn't want to commit. How do you see them? Okay, you have hope that this can work out. But it does look like there's one hell of a break in communi you know, communication right now. They know that you're taking a break from this. They know that you're being quiet for a reason. You could be like, you know, I have hope. You, That's an apology possibly. But this does look like getting over this hurdle here. And trying to persevere. So this does look like this person and you could work things out. But they got to not just give up. They have to be more responsible, more reliable and, and not give up. If they, you know, that's the type of person that just gives up so easily and can't commit or they get pissed off and headstrong. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo. Pisces, Virgo, Pisces again, Taurus, Taurus again with Libra, all signs are in here, not much air though, not much air, Ooh, but at the bottom of the deck you have clarity, mm -mm -mm. getting down to the heart of the matter, possibly somebody coming in and speaking their truth with you, all right, question most on your mind, Source. And yes, we're keeping them a little shorter yet because we're still having the long video issue. Oh, look, is sad. And you have, there's something way better that's happening. Mm. All right, and for fun, we're getting two from, just for fun, two from the Pessimist Oracle. Maybe you should finish something you started for once. Oh, that's to the person. The glass is neither half empty or half full. You broke it. Glass is everywhere. Great job. Golf clap. All right. That is also to that person. Somebody is really having some doubts on what they did. All right, Virgos, that's what we have for you. On we go. <laughs> Wookie crew. All right, question of the day for fun. What's your spirit animal? What do you feel is your spirit animal? Aries Leo Sagittarius. Wookie, duh. <laughs> is the Wookie your spirit animal? Now, wouldn't that be ironic? 
Okay. This person sees you as single and ready to mingle. They want to date. They want a new beginning, but they might see that you, I mean, they feel like you, you, you're you giving them the, I got everything going on, but, oh, are they intensely fierce. Woo! Why the tower? I feel like this is a big change. Oh, yes. Now, this also can be somebody that's used to being a bachelor and they're falling for you. You got the lovey queen here. Somebody that wants to nurture a connection with you, but this can be like out of their norm. This is somebody that may have spent most of their life as a bachelor, and this is a big change. Let's see what you think of them. What do you think of them? Oh, oh, okay. Very sexually interested. You, you're definitely going for this. It's like, oh yes, yes, yes. Come my direction. Learn more about me. So this is a new connection, but there is a feeling of this person. You might be kind of going, are you, you know, are you actually going to commit? But it sure the hell looks good. Ooh, 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 looks like fun. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. All right. This person, there's red flags here. Red flags. This person could have been manipulating and now possibly want to try to get back together. Why is the high priestess reversed? They could have hidden somebody else and put you in a third party. They could be married. They could be in a long-term connection. Is this person in another connection? Looks like it. Reversed for yes. Are they lying to you? What's the blockage? Oh, 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 oh. They need to get out of this connection first. Blockage, we reverse it. They're already in a connection. And then you got the Queen of Cups. You got too many queens, first of all. We clarified it. How do you see this person? Nope. No go. You need to leave your person. You need to leave the other party first. You're just avoiding this. I mean, you might be interested and there's some anxiety. But you're like, this, this? This? First, you, you know, I'd love to spend time with you. I'd love to see how we click, but you got to move on here first. It could be that you already got involved with this person. Now you're going, shit. I mean, it does look like you're enthusiastic, but this person may have lied to you to begin with. Well, that would put you as the side piece. Just saying. Be careful. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Here I come. I'm hot for you. All right. This person wants to speed up the process, get to know you. Coming in with a romantic, romantic offer. Nice. Let's see what you think of them. So, if you got any walls up, they want to break them down. They want to break down your door. Oh, you're into this. This could be the one. So you're excited to get to know them. Yes, this is saying giving this person the opportunity to feel like they're coming at you. Honestly, this person feels like you are outgoing and fun. They like your personality, extremely drawn to you, and you're digging it. You're saying, yes, I will give you an opportunity. Make it good. All right. Bottom of the deck, you're the fool. Spending time together. It's like, I'm free. I'm available. Let's try this. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay. Delays, delays. This person's seeing the truth, but boy, are they guarded. What are they seeing the truth about? What are they getting a little reality about? All right. One more. That you're just moving on. And it's like, I don't trust you anymore. If I have to sit there and fucking watch you like a hawk, why in the hell would I trust you? Oof. How do you see this person? All right, you got no regrets when it comes to this. But this can be trying to make things work, trying to be more optimistic. But boy, you are guarded. You want honesty and clarity. How does this move forward? No, oh, I don't know. Looks like you are keeping to yourself and holding back your emotions. 
or thoughts, you got to think about it. You don't trust this person. You feel like they leave truths out, like they come at you, like they could have bailed on you to begin with, but this is like um, left you behind, embellishes the truth, omits certain parts of things. So it's like part of you might want to get back together with this person and part of you might be getting attention from somebody else. You might be out having a good old fucking time too. One more for that four of rods. Celebrations, parties, etc. Gatherings. Oh, I really, you are so not tolerating any shit. This could be just I'm moving on. I'm making a choice. I'm moving on. There's better luck next time there, chump. You don't want to deal with this conflict anymore. It's like, I'm, I'm not, I'm no, no more games, no more bullshit. I'm just done. I feel like you're holding back completely. Ay, 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 ay. They ruined the trust. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They do feel jaded, but they did it to themselves. Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <coughs> Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio. All signs are in here. All right. Let's get a yes, no for the question most on your mind. Source. What do they need to hear? Yes, no, maybe so. And yes, we're keeping it shorter because we're still having issues with videos. Hell yeah. Thumbs up and oh. Yeah. All right. And then for fun, you guys have some enthusiasm here. Ooh. For fun, pessimistic death. Look around. This is what you've done with your life. Ooh. You'll never be thin again. <laughs> I'm feeling that way. All right, Libras, that's what we have for you. On we go. Scorpios, question of the day for fun. What is your spirit animal? And I uh, get this. The Wookiee says he is his own spirit animal. I'm like, oh, the Wookiee. Okay, if you were dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. Boom. Big ending. This person feels like you do not want to talk to them and you're avoiding them like the fucking plague. They want clarity. They want to break through. Why the tower? Well, that ain't good. This person either stepped out of the connection or made you feel jealous. They could have been cruel, unethical, impulsive, demanding, shitty attitude. How do you see them? They make you anxious. They're possibly trying to heal. What's the blockage? <sighs> okay. Okay. Major, major needing to get on with this. This is like you're trying, you're trying to heal. You're trying to get over this person. They could keep just messing with you. It's like a connection that was on and off. They were possibly breadcrumbing you. Could have been a third party. This just fell out. That's also saying this person was an attention hoe. Possibly like the type of person that tries to get attention because they feel inept or they felt like they weren't getting enough attention at home. Likely outcome. We have the five of swords reversed. They want you to be more approachable. They're still going to try to make this right. So, oof. I don't know, guys. That's pretty... I mean, they. this could be like you do not expect them to come around again, but this can be this person changing their ways. They see you ignoring the shit out of them. Like you're acting very aloof that you don't want to talk to them. And it can be because of what they did. Cruelty. Now they want to come in and try to, you know, take the ice off your heart. Good luck to them. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That was quick. All right. I'm curious. Somebody that wants to lay some groundwork. Wants to get to know you better. Wants to express possibly feelings. Very sexually interested. Ooh. One more for the Seven of Swords. Oh, yeah. They definitely want to make advances on you. Can we get on the same page? This is somebody that wants to confess their emotions for you. They're obsessed with doing so. It's like they're just waiting for the opportunity and boom. 
trying to break down your walls possibly, but they feel like you are the right way to go. How do you see them? Mm, okay, a new chapter. It can be somebody that you work with, but you're kind of going, okay, I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you a shot. A new beginning, determination, somebody that pays attention, somebody that's very diligent. This is a new chapter, very much a new chapter. You're going for it. Cut of the deck, ten of cups. Looks like this would be happiness, contentment. Nice. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person feels like waiting is a waste of their time. One more. Yep, waiting, waiting, waiting. They feel like it's like this is getting me nowhere. How do you see this person? And I mean, waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay. Chariot. Two more. Oh, you think they're pushing to get back. Okay, you're like, don't push me. Ah, you're waiting for something better. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. Blockage. This person is restless. They might not have been very mature. They might not have actually been... I mean, they're defensive. One more. Constantly digging. This person could be accusatory. And you're going, uh-uh. Okay, and then uh, if they're accusing you and they're being dishonest towards you, this is like, wah, wah, poor me. I'm being punished. You're just going, yeah, whatever. I mean, you're just going, I whatever, whatever, whatever. You're not defending. You're not, you know, sticking up for this. You're just going, whatever you want to think. Whatever you want to think, I'm not arguing with you anymore. But they're still waiting. Why are they still waiting? It's a waste of time. Well, then quit waiting. Quit waiting. They're really fucking waiting. Waiting for you to change your mind, possibly. Mm, I don't think that's happening anytime real soon. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Perseverance, a little bit guarded, but still having some courage. That is the wounded warrior. Not over you. So, hey, baby, if I reach out, do you still have faith that they want to try to have this back with you? There is possibly an apology, but coming back around. Coming back around, but did they... They want to try to recover this connection, but did they ghost you? Did they abandon you? What's the blockage? Okay. They weren't completely content. They were bored in this connection, and they were a manipulator. One more. Somebody that's cold as ice. This person was a major fucking manipulator. Major manipulator. How do you see them? You got a chip on your shoulder when it comes to this person. You're being logical. You're not taking it. You're not dealing with it. You're judging clearly, but... It's like not feeling like this person's got anything to handle and could be pushy, but you don't feel like they're reliable. You feel like it's like, okay, dull one, you're fucking boring too. <laughs> this person's a control freak and they're like, oh, things got, you know, boring in our relationship. Really? Well, you're not exactly a fucking comedian yourself. Okay. Aries Leo Sag. Hush, Wookiee. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Heavy, Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces, Libra. Libra. Cancer. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus. Pisces, Scorpio. All right, let's get an answer for the question most on your mind. Yes, we're still keeping them shorter because of the issue. With the download and not knowing exactly when you guys are able to see it. Question most on your mind. You deserve it. Yes. So stop asking. Apparently the <laughs> source is saying, yeah, 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 already. All right. And for fun, we're getting out the pessimist deck. 
for fun only. All right, let's see what we got for you. It is not as bad as you think. It's worse. Oh, ba -dum -bum. When you wish upon a star, the angels are like, what the fuck are you doing? And they laugh. All right, Scorpios, that's what we have for you. And we go, Sagittarius. So question of the day for fun is what is your spirit animal? Or what do you feel is your spirit animal? All right, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius source. All right, stagnation, waiting, hesitation, possibly. Why? Oh, they want to come back. So why the waiting? Why the wait? Oh, they did something naughty. One more for the devil. One more for the devil. Okay. This person's obsessed with coming back. They did something naughty, but waiting. Still having hope and faith that things can work out between the two of you. What's the actual blockage? Not so good. Mm -mm. This is looking like, like candy assed away to a side piece, guys. Ugh. Causing a lot of doubt. All right, how do you see them? Full of crap. Oh, good luck to them. They're getting some karma, but I don't know that you really are going to be giving to this. I mean, it's really up to you, obviously, but this person needs to get their shit together. Lies, unfaithfulness. Now there's stagnation. Waiting, hesitating. Not sure if you're willing to forgive them. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. King of Wands, reverse. This person's kind of getting pissy. Maybe the assumption that what? Ooh, they want you to make up your mind. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this person could be getting a little bit pushy, or could be pushy, generally speaking. They don't want any drama. They want to try to resolve this. What's the actual blockage? The weight. So you might be kind of iffy at allowing this person to get back into your life. But they're missing you. They want you to accept this. They want to try to recover the situation between the two of you. And it seems like you're holding back. This person, it could have been sudden. This person could have been unethical. Now they're trying to prove themselves and want you to make up your mind. Your thoughts, okay? Two more. They have to show a lot more effort than them what they are. I mean, it's not that you don't have feelings for this person, but it's like, did you learn a lesson? Are you willing to, you know, put more work into it? Is this something that you're possibly taking hard? You could be friend zoning them until they show you a lot more effort, and they're getting really not so patient, not so patient. But you're holding back until you see the effort. All right. I want to see ambition. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh, progress. Acknowledge me. Pay attention to me. Ooh. Could meet this person at a party. Now, this person also could feel like you're staying in, kind of avoiding people, generally speaking. Can also be somebody that's quiet and a little bit shy. But they do want to see things go forward with you. I want a change. Acknowledge me. You are the conquest. Your thoughts. Nope. You're hurting right now. Is this with this person? Reversed, yes. No. Okay, so you're working on heartache right now. There's something that you're just kind of bitter. Trying. You're trying to heal. You're working on healing. You meet this person and they're kind of holding back. Although they want to be acknowledged, they want to move things forward. They have very good intentions. And you 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 know you realize it, but you're still healing. I mean, this can move forward, but it's going to be a time thing. Because you're st still thinking negatively about past bad memories, being cynical, having a hard time adjusting to life without somebody else, and still kind of bitter sorrow, hurt, betrayal, pain. Working on your balance, but trying to heal. Trying to heal from something that could have been long-term, could have been a marriage, but you are holding back. They want progress. What's the likely outcome? 
Hello, Nosy. Aw, happy, happy, joy, joy. They, you just, it's just going to be a little bit of a wait. But I feel like it's on your end. You want more honesty, clarity. It's like waiting for my ships to come in. I little, need a little bit more time to heal. I need a little bit more time to get over things from the past. So, you, yeah, you want more time. It's like give me, a, give me some more time. Let, slow. All right. That does look like an expansion. So nice. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person's worried, possibly. Well, anxious as hell, but worried that what? What are they afraid of? That you won't take an offering. Oh, they want to give you a peace offering. Not dealing well here. It's the blockage. Secrets came out. Regarding what source? Okay. This person could have put you into a third party situation, but it was not being happy with the situation between the two of you. So something was missing or they felt something was missing. This is somebody that overindulges and it's like conditional terms may regret their wishes. Somebody that's, you know, kind of a snob, demanding, judgy. They got what they thought they wanted, but then they weren't so happy about it. Now they miss you. How do you see this person? All right. Okay. This is seeing them come in to try to talk to you, but you're very guarded. You're kind of iffy on it. You got the wounded warrior there. It's like, well, I have the strength to do anything that I want. I will prevail, but I might just keep my independence. So curious to see what they have to say. But that's about it, at least for now. <clears throat> because at the same time, you don't want to have to spy on them. If you have to spy on them and they make you feel restless, what's kind of what's the point? You might be just, I'm moving on without you. Quickly, as quick as I can, running the hell away from you and, you know, choosing to keep your singleness, your bacheloretism from this person until you can heal a little bit more. So big upheaval. They're worried that you won't take an offer. They're worried that you won't, you know, try again. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody's being really pushy, Cancer, Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces, all right, let's get an answer. For the question, most on your mind. Yes, we're keeping them a little bit smaller. Tomorrow maybe we'll do a bigger one, longer video. Gotta break it up though. Sagittarius's question. Source, what do we have? Ooh, perfect timing and a big fucking yes. All right, and then just for fun only, Pessimist Oracle. You are bloated, you are gassy. Therefore, we must bitch or we will blow up. Your true nature is resting bitch face. No, that's the Wookiee. All right, guys, that's what we have for you. On we go. Capulets. Question of the day for fun is, what's your spirit animal? Or what do you feel is? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Source. Okay. King of Wands. Makes things happen. Can be a little demanding. Ooh. Ooh, 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 let's get one more. Three of Cups. One more. Oh, this person is trying to actually hold back and not be too pushy. They want to try to bring the two of you together. They're interested in you. How do they see you? Kind of not wanting to be too risky. Ha, ha, ha. Like, I'm not just jumping in anything. Are you interested? You are interested, but you want to be respect. Oh, yeah, you're telling them I'm not dealing with any player bullshit. I'm looking for a happy household. I'm looking for the long term. I want the real deal. I feel like you got not necessarily a player, but somebody that isn't completely ready to just give you want and vice versa. Kind of outcome. It does look like you get your way. So this is just time. I really, really like you. 
I would like to see this go forward, but holding back a little bit on this long-term crap, they're like, yeah, a little bit cold feety, but they're interested. They see you not wanting to take a risk or get too risky. It also can be that I've had this shit before and not dealing with it again. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. There's that feeling of bachelorism, bachelorettism. Can we get on the same page? No, one more for the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person's going to be holding back. One more for the three. I do want to be happy. They have very similar energy. I'm really digging you. I really, you know, I really like you. Can we get on the same page? Can we try to compromise? Can we try to work this out? They're like, yeah, I mean, what do you think? I'd like to be happy. There you are with again with a, I want long term. I want marriage. I want this. I want that. How do you see this person? All right. Curious. Doing the background check. They got to be more romantic, but this is this person coming. I mean, you do want to be involved with them, but they need to be a little bit more romancy. So you do have optimism here, but you're holding back a little bit. It's like, I'm guarded. It's got to be something, you know, more. It's not just going to be one thing. So this person, again, feeling, it's like, I want an emperor. I want stability. And you're really standing your ground. It's like, I do have hope that this could work out. I mean, I'm daydreaming about this person. I'm really interested. But at the same time, they make you a little bit, uh, like you just a little bit guarded because you're wondering if this person's actually going to relent and, you know, be ready for something long term. They could be a long, long time bachelor or bachelorette, but it does look like it has optimistic. We like it. We like it. A lot of commitment phobia in here. It's like, what is with that? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Trying to get balance. Tranquility. Regretting some words that they said. So they could have popped off into an argument between the two of you, and now they want to come back and have a peaceful resolution. Trying to compromise. Want to communicate about what's happened between the two of you, and they know that, okay, they're still thinking about you. They want to try to come back, period. But they know that you are not taking any crap at all. How do you see this person? Passionately. Oh. Love, hate. Love, hate. One more. Sick of the conflict. Feel like this person's constantly causing drama. You don't like the popping off shit. But you might take this opportunity to try to heal this connection. That's love. That's love. That's partnership. That's trying to get on the same values, though. This just seems like popping off. Popping off into an argument, knowing that they irritated the shit out of you. They're a little bit too candid, maybe, and could have said things that they regret. But coming back around, it's looking like you might reconsider and, and you know, at least hear them out. Hear them out. Listening to them, wanting a victory. So could be able to get over this hurdle. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Truth, clarity, honesty. Head to over heart, though. I feel like you're kind of ignoring them. You could be teaching them a little bit of a lesson. How do you see them? You're not so sure. All right. Now, this can be somebody new coming to your life, but you've got, I mean, you got baggage here. A little bit of baggage. Why the 10? All right. Why are they so resting bitch facey? This person wants an opportunity with you. You've got a little bit of doubt. Why your why your doubt? It's like wanting to move this forward, but kind of assessing. You really are. It's like waiting for it, waiting for it. You could be waiting for this person to make an opportunity known to you, and you feel like they're being a little bit cold and shitty, but they want a victory here. It's just this feeling of a lesson or quietness. They might feel like you're being quiet towards them. Is there a blockage source? Blockage. Poppers. Poppers only. Okay. The two of you just aren't on the same page. One of you's holding back a little bit more. Okay. 
it's looking more like you're until you can show more love or until you're on this again the same page making this work out it's like you're taking this hard you want this person to be more routine more more patient more persistent you want to know what to expect from them and they could be just kind of up and down and give you the you know not very the king of swords is very more of a shower not a you know they just make you swoon with all their words so that makes it harder to read this person possibly but this can be have gone on a long time too when you're going this you know this has got to change but this does look like a new offer and they want to have the recognition they want you to acknowledge they want to try to get through this but you really want them to you know think about it so we have aries leo sagittarius gemini libra aquarius Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aries, and you got somebody a little bit pushy to get in the, in the pants, pushy pants, pushy pants, all right, let's get an answer for the question most on your mind. Capies, my Capulet source. It's on you. Be realistic. You're not ready. Yeah, I really feel like you're kind of holding back a little bit. But on the bottom, you have a big fucking guess. All right, and for fun only, fun only, two from the op pessimistic deck. She does not love you or respect you, just like your mom. Your mom. Spirit loves you unconditionally, but is disturbed by your porn choices. Oh, what are you guys doing? Not cappies. No. All right, guys, that was just for fun. On we go. Aquarius. Question of the day for fun. What's your spirit animal? Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Elemental cookie source. Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, progress. This person wants things to go right. Coming in with quick communication. Ooh, very honest and bold. Not over you. What do they want to talk about? Okay, they could be talking about how they haven't been as flexible as they should be. One more. Or that they need to make more time for you. It seems like they're kind of taking the rap here. But in a, in a good way. Facing their fears. There could have been secrets that came out. They could have juggled you. But they want clarity and truth. They want to break through. They want to take the ice off your heart. Your view. Oh, it's a happy home. Trying to build back the stability. Trying to let go of the past. Trying to have a resolution. So you're open. I mean, the queen, the queen of cups is the most forgiving card in the deck. You still have feelings for this person. They need to make a priority out of you, but they could have ghosted you, whatever the case may be. Now they want to come in and speak their truth. Very focused on you. Feel like it's the right direction. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, with the feeling of curious if you would try to work things out. Don't want any more struggles. Trying to reach agreements. Trying to compromise. There's the lovey-dovey again. What do you see them? Very passionate, but you feel like you got to keep an eye on them. And at the same time, that you do care about them. That's love. What's the actual blockage? Ugh. Unexpected changes, losses, not being on the same page, not wanting to commit, making you wonder if this was ever going to go anywhere, but there is emotions here. There is emotions here. This could have been financial difficulties between the two of you, but it's like, do you know, are they not putting enough work into things, making you doubt them? Now they, you know, I'm curious if we can try to get beyond this. I still care about you. What kind of outcome? Source. What kind of outcome? Well, that's trying to, I mean, resisting change, but are you avoiding a disaster or not? One more. 
could be delaying the inevitable. They got to come at you right. So this person's got to get their shit together. Determination. I feel like they are really going to put the work into it. You could think this person is um, a bit selfish, a little bit to themselves as far as putting work into things, all play and no work. But this does look like trying to get that tower back up and make it more sturdy. But they got to, you know, they got to come at you right. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Strength. Ooh. Now this person can be a little bit quiet. Seems like they, I mean, this is definitely somebody that is very smart. They're very by the book. They're by routine. They move very slowly, but they're methodical. They're holding back a little bit. They're trying to get some confidence up. How do you see them? Oh. So you're curious to see if this person is interested. You're holding back a little bit. You might be feeling like they're kind of staying to themselves because that hermit can do that, making it hard to get to know. This person might just be not the most extroverted person. You know, like they got resting bitch face and it's hard to get to know them. You feel like it's hard to get them to open up, but you are interested and curious to see where this can go. What kind of outcome? What kind of outcome? It's going to take a lot of work, but it does look like giving it a shot. It does look like it's going to be a lot of work, though. You could have been waiting a long time for this person, too. It might actually work a lot. We'll say that as well. But that is somebody that is a hard worker. And it does feel like they want to be acknowledged, but I feel like they're either they're, you know, a little inept or they're a little bit timid. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Karma. I want this connection with you. I want things to go well. This is somebody that you can meet at a party or gathering, but they want something. They want to learn about you. They want something committed. Willing to give you the, the traditional, okay? I mean, sharing beliefs. Seeing if the two of you can get on the same page. Let's see what you have. What do you think of them? Ooh, they make you happy, happy. But you're putting up very clear boundaries. So this person knows that they, you know, there has to be a balance between the two of you. You are sexually interested in this person, but it can't just be based on one thing. So you're standing up for yourself. You're saying, yes, but you're going to respect my ass. You're going to respect my, yeah, you know, really, this is the way it is. Stand on your ground. I will be respected. But it does look like happiness, contentment, being treated well, getting a lot of attention from this person, eventually love, optimism about this. This person's putting the move on you. They want, you know, they want to show you that they actually have the same values or norms. Be careful, though, because sometimes people have the icing on the cake, and once you get to the cake, it's dry. But this looks beautiful. I mean, it doesn't look like their intentions are false or that they're lying. Not at all. It's all upright. It looks like good luck moving forward. New chapter. So we have Taurus, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Leo, here's Leo, Sag, Virgo. And like I said, this one here can be kind of boring and hold them back a little bit. It might take, you know, this one could be the, oh, it's taking forever to get this person to open up. But once they do, loyal. All right, Leo, Libra, Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. All right. We're going to get an answer. Aries, if I didn't say Aries with the Emperor. Question most on my Aquarius' mind. Source. And then one for fun. One or two. Question most on your mind. Move on from this and your intuition is off. But you also have very soon. So you might need some closure. You might be feeling like you're waiting too long. Okay, for fun. We have... The best years of your life are behind you, just for fun. Just be better. I feel like that's what you're saying to somebody else. Can we just make this better? All right, Aquarius, that's what we have for you. On we go.
Pisces. Okay, elemental quickies embellish. So question of the day for fun. What is your spirit animal? All right, if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Source. Tower. Boom. Big change. Oh, secrets coming out. This person could be afraid of the ending here. Oh, they want to come in and talk. Peace. Peace talks. Peace talks. Taking the uh, accountability stick up the butt. Let's see what you think. Let's get one for the tower. What's the blockage? Arguments. Bullshit. Possibly lies. And there's a lot of resentment here. This just seems like this popped off into an argument about who does what, who's, you know, faithful, who's not. No, they want to take accountability and come at you right. Yeah, this is just like not completely on the right track. Somebody wasn't happy. Somebody was, you know, but there's still emotions and feelings here. So they don't want this. They're trying to face their fears and come in with some honesty and clarity how do you feel? Person could have been commitment issues. Well, it seems like you've been trying to manifest this. But you are going to be stern. This and that, this and that. Telling them how it is. But still having feelings for them, though. Is this too? Just in case. No. All right. So you want them to put more work into it. This is the, this person. You're kind of like, are you going to do this or not? You're very agitated by it, a little bit defensive about it, but this just seems like you want this person to show you more effort and you don't want to hear the arguments. It seems like two people that just got off track, lost the balance, insecurities possibly, but conflict that doesn't mean that, it, you know, uncertainty, unhappiness, disappointments, but it just, you know, now they want to come at you right and try to compromise. So this person, boom. Could be a sudden incoming that you don't see, you know, them coming your direction to try to do the peace talks, but they want to try to take accountability. Coming at you with honesty, for real, and want you to take them seriously. Okay, Gemini, we were Aquarius. Okay, Page of Pentacles. What's this person learning? Ew. Okay. This person could be just becoming ready, could be seeing that you're getting attention from other people or worried about you getting attention from other people, but they have hope and optimism. What do they learn, though? What do they need to learn? They have the idea that things can go better and miss you. So this is another apology, forgiveness, being more grateful, wanting the connection back. How do you see this person? I feel like they're hoping that you're going to reconsider. Do you see them? You're not over this either, but you got some bad fucking memories. So it's like I'm having a hard time. You're not sure. You're not sure. I do feel like this person's still going to try. I mean, that's one hell of an apology. But you're not sure. It's like I need to think about this. What kind of outcome likely they're holding back a little bit. I mean, you are waiting. It's like, I'm not sure if I want to go this way or that. This is like, I need to have more stability. When you have threes, it's expansion. But you're kind of going, you're going to wait. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to see how this progresses. So making them wait it out. Yep, yep, yep. You want to see the work. You want to see the love. But this, I mean, it does look like eventually, one way or the other, you're going to find happiness. Things will go your way. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. King of Swords. Truthful. Cautious with their heart. Ooh. Not making any choices right now, holding back and kind of being an asshole. They got a major chip on their shoulder. What is the actual blockage? Not giving enough. They feel like something wasn't fair. Oh, what's not fair? They're trying to be more optimistic, but this person, you know, it's like, I, this is about reliability. Trying to be more optimistic, trying to hope that this goes better, trying to get the, it's a, this is somebody that's not completely committing. How do you see them? 
you want that long-term connection or forget it. It's, it's kind of like, I'm holding back. I have, you know, I have a little bit left in me to try to be persistent about this, but you're not, you're, you're not giving in. Treat me right. Not necessarily mirroring me, but show me more respect. Healing. What action does this person take, if any? Ooh, that's effort. That's effort. That's trying to put more work into it. So they need to show you more love. This person's all wah wah. Things aren't fair. You're not this. You're not that. Really acting jaded. Things is not fair. Really? And don't act like an asshole. So they're trying to be more optimistic, but you're very guarded. It's like, prove it. Again, the prove it, prove it, prove it. You know, it's like stubborn, stubborn energy. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Turning back around, possibly facing emotions versus just numbing. This person's disappointed. Very stubborn, though. Okay, they're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. They might feel like you're really ticked off at them and see them as a cheater or a jealous, somebody that has a temper. What's the actual blockage? Oh, yeah, they hurt you. They need to drop the toxic shit. They need to heal this. If they drop the toxic shit, and this could have been that they were acting single and they weren't. One more. Because you're, you're, oh yeah, they walked away. They walked away playing games. Bullshit. Possible third party because we're reversing that too. So if they drop the, you know, third party, but that's what they did. They took their little passion pony elsewhere and now they want to come back around. Oh, yeah. King of Wands reverse. They know, <laughs> they know that you're iffy. Your thoughts. You're full of shit. Okay, you know the truth about this. One more. That can be an acknowledgement that they want to get back together and start over, but you might be starting over. You're standing your ground, but this can be stability again. What's the likely outcome? Okay, it does look like this person's determined to make this better determined to have success so they're really pushing for this reconciliation but it's like the dishonesty the betrayal the third party possibly you're really gonna have to think about this because this person's really pushing I mean this is your call but it's like is it stable it looks like their intentions are good but are you always gonna have to wonder you might just be starting over. You know, you could be having the thought of starting over and you're possibly, you know, dating other people and then they try to come back around and you're going, now what? Because this is like, you bailed on me, you toxic jackass. They're going, no, I won't be that way anymore. I won't be that way anymore. Mm -mm. Be careful. Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn. Cancer, Aries, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Effort, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Stop, Burn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Aquarius, Ooh, let's see, Libra, Soulmate Energy, Scorpio Pisces. All right, let's get an answer. And yes, we're doing shorter, but we will get back to doing longer ones. Still not sure what's up with the damn videos being all goofy and taking forever to do what they need to do. They need to have a bitter system. Answer for the question most on Cupcake's mind. Drop it like it's hot. You deserve it. When you believe... And then you have for protection, no. But you also have on you. It's really going to have to be, you know, you need to make good choices. All right. And for fun only, the pessimist oracle. 
Stifle your feelings. They are completely unreasonable. Just for fun. Energy flows where attention goes, like diarrhea and your runny nose. Okay, come on. Just for fun. All right, but drop it like it's hot when you believe manifestations. You deserve it, but you might be protected from the universe about something. So something that you're trying to manifest might not be the best choice for you. You might be getting a dunk upside the head from spirit. All right, Pisces, that's what we have for you. Thanks for watching. Many blessings, and we'll see you next time.